Oh, God. Oh, this looks oh, worse than the last this, time I was here. No wonder the neighbors hate oh. us. Here's the situation in this house. We bought the house. We were ready to do renovations. We had about an $80,000 profit built into this house. It's a great neighborhood near us. A neighbor across the street decided that on day one of renovations that he would call the code enforcement. We found out later he's one of those guys that calls code enforcement every single day. He's since moved, the neighbors are all glad that he moved. In the meantime, he screwed us pretty good. So he called code enforcement, they came over. We didn't think we had to have a permit to just clean the house out and do demo, but apparently you did. And because he called them, they had to call New York State. And because New York State was involved, they shut the job down. They found asbestos and we had to hire a asbestos abatement company for $30,000 to come out and abate the house. We've not seen it since. It's been gutted since. It's been uh, several months of a complete hiccup, and we've now got to figure out how the hell to get out of this house. We had an $80,000 profit. We're already $30,000 with our holding costs. We're going to add another forty. dollars So Amber's going to have to do her magic here. We've got to figure out how to renovate this thing and come in under budget. Oh, boy. Not my favorite thing to do because I like to spend money. No, <laughs> but I also like to make money, so we gotta, we got to really put our thinking caps on here. Let's go check it out because I've not seen the inside since this, so let's go check it out. This is our first look at the inside of the house. Oh, so we had to have the house completely gutted. We had to have, apparently there was asbestos. In the sheetrock. Mixed in the sheetrock. I'm not sure how they determined that, but whatever. So thankful for that neighbor. I tell you, I, I have no idea what we're gonna do. Well, thankfully, I'm the designer and I do. <laughs> and I know how to do it on a budget. That's why so, I got you. you know, right. yes, I do like having a bit, bigger budget to work with, but in some extreme cases like this, we really have to take it on a shoestring basis. You can spend as much as you want to on a house to fix it up, but when you're flipping a house, you have to make sure that you're getting that back. So you can take a really awesome design, really upscale, high-end design, and do it on a shoestring budget by just picking similar materials that don't cost nearly as much. So that's my thought here, is to really make this house very glamorous, um, but also do it on, on a really, really small budget to really make it pop when people walk in. We don't even have pipes or anything. So I can move around whatever I want. So you know. we all new plumbing too. Yeah, we, oh. this house needs everything. This house needs plumbing, electrical. You know, we have some framing. Um, we'll decide whether we're gonna keep that or not. The hardwood floors are shot. You know, there's half of them are missing. I guess the ones in that room we could save. Hey, look, we have a tub. Not gonna happen. Huh. It's good. Um, <laughs> so, so the other thing I'm thinking in here is this is a raised ranch, and right now the basement isn't being used for anything. And I think that we can make one of the windows an egress window down there and we can add all of that space to square footage to the house. Okay. So that's automatically gonna bump up our sales price. Okay. Um, I might even combine two of the rooms up here into a larger master with an ensuite. Because these are all really small so what, rooms. what are we gonna be when we're done? How many, how many bedrooms? Um, where, three to four okay. bedrooms. So here's the question. What room am I in? I don't even know where I am. So this is the living room. Okay. This is the living room that you walk in. When yep. we bought it, this area was the kitchen. Okay. Um, I don't like this area as the kitchen. Number one, because there's a back door, and you know how I love to put the bar in yeah. and have bar stools that overhang, yeah. but there's a hallway right here. So with this layout, you can't do that. It, the hallway gets in the way. Okay. So I'm actually gonna bump the kitchen over to the dining, what was the dining room area. I'm gonna flip flop those, because it doesn't matter if there's a door by the dining room. Okay. So I'm gonna have the kitchen right here. We're gonna make the window a little smaller there. Um, all right, so <laughs> I've only fallen for that joke a couple times. Okay, so tell me something. This is the kitchen here. Yep, kitchen, kitchen and living room, dining room. Walk down the hallway. There's a little closet here. There's another linen closet there. There's a full bathroom right there. There's a bedroom here. There's a bedroom here, and there used to be a wall right here. So there's another bedroom here. So there's three bedrooms in this area. I think what I'm gonna do is combine these two into one big bedroom and put a bathroom right here, make this an ensuite. So this will all be the master bedroom with its own bathroom. There'll be another bedroom over there. There'll be two bedrooms downstairs. So we'll have... this floor up, put it on the floor down? Yeah, uh, in here we'll have to... Or wood or laminate? In there we can keep it. Probably um, probably like the bamboo. The bamboo? Yeah, I'm really liking the bamboo lately. And, and I can get that at a really good price too. Okay. That's a great price point. So it'll be a four bedroom, three bath house. And the comps were based on a three one. 
Hey, let's get upstairs. Look at that real quick. So you said upstairs you want like this a four bedroom, three bath house. I'm thinking about that. That's a lot. Well, that's so the, a lot of that's a lot of bathrooms. The other thing that we could do is create the master <laughs> suite down here, make this one big bedroom, and just keep one bathroom up there for those three bedrooms. So, let's so it could be a four bedroom, two bath. Let's discuss that though. If you put a bedroom in a basement where there's no basement underneath, we have to start blasting out rock to get plumbing in. No, no. Nice. Neil said we could do a pump. He said it would not be a not be a problem to put a bathroom down here at all. So the size is fine, but um, so egress window we have to have so that if there was a fire that somebody could get out of it. So we have to knock out one row of blocks so that this is only so many inches above the ground level. Um, one row of blocks and put a bigger window in, and we should be fine for egress down here. So down here will be what? So uh, I'm going to talk. There's a lot of room down here. It, there's a lot of room down here. So after looking closer at it, maybe that is the better idea to create the master suite down here so it's private, and then just have three bedrooms up there with one bathroom for them to share. So a four bedroom, two bathroom. Four two. That's going to be cheaper for us. That's, that's a better way to sit and spend our money because it, the third bathroom will always give you that much extra money. Correct. It's nice, but I don't think it ever gets you that much extra money. A second bathroom is required if right. you have this neighborhood. So a 4-2 is going to put our comps a little higher up, so that should increase the, the sale price to make up for the massive screw up we had. And adding square house. footage always helps. So normally when you have a house though that has uh, a basement like this, you can't count the square footage unless you have egress. So right. when you put that opening, when you make that window bigger, so it's, it's uh, by code an egress window. Right. Then we can add this as official square footage it means they can get out during a fire. So, the hot water here looks new. We have that going for us. And the furnace looks like it's not horrible. So, who knows? Maybe that'll work. And the actually, the existing bathroom is right here. So, I'm wondering, maybe we put a door here to get in to access all of that. And maybe we create the bathroom in this area and make that whole thing the master bedroom over there. Yep. And really maximize yeah. the, uh, the use of space in here, yeah. So, I have another question while we're here. What the hell is this? We, we're on a well. This looks like a well pump to me. Uh, normally we have city water here. I would think we have city water. Why do we not have city water? I see gas coming in. Uh, this is like a water, that's a water main right there. Right? Yeah, that's a water main coming in. There's not a meter on it yet, but that's a water main. So I got a little freaked out when I saw this and we had to have a well, because a well is a whole new set level of inspections and problems yeah. and yeah. So I'm gonna have to come back here with Neil, my project manager, and really discuss a layout and what's gonna be the most cost effective and functional.